Hey guys! I'm finally back to do my next character review. Um, I apologize for it taking so long. Uh, I've been, uh, sick the last few days. Um, I've... I've, I've had a stomach bug. And, uh, then when I... Then... <laughs> um... Then when I tried to record it, uh, to record my video the first two times, it failed. <laughs> so hopefully third time is, is the charm. <laughs> anyway. Um. Uh, anyway, like my friend men mentioned in his uh, video, we're still doing videos um, about characters that uh, one of us likes and the other one isn't that crazy about, and vice versa. Um, I'm, um, and like he said, we're doing we're, we're doing reviews of um, Rapunzel from Tangled and Candace Flynn from Phineas and Ferb. Um, he did his Rapunzel review a couple days ago, and I'm here today to do my Candace review. Anyway, I've got a long list of complaints about Candace. She's a complete killjoy. She's annoying. She's a stereotype of a shallow teenage girl. She's superficial and even said if her best friend got glasses, she couldn't be seen with her. She's overly paranoid about any little thing having to do with her relationship with Jeremy, her accent, having a nickname, waiting for a call, what he likes about her, etc. She prefers to do things the hard, stupid, and complicated way when it comes to trying to find out what she thinks Jeremy is doing that makes her paranoid. Um, she's an ungrateful, spoiled brat that doesn't appreciate what she has. Um, she takes advantage of her friends and puts her needs above theirs. Um, it seems more like she's trying to... It seems more like she's trying to bust her brothers just to be mean rather uh, than out of concern for their safety. She has no life outside of trying to bust her Oops, I skipped one. Sorry. Um, she's selfish and uh, more she's and more egocentric than a normal person. She has no life outside of trying to bust her brothers, and never lets herself enjoy things. She never develops, and when it does, when she does, it's not done well. She's rude and looks down upon people like a snob. She ignores her responsibilities. She's mean to Perry. She has huge and kind of detestable flaws um, that she never sees as a problem and is even proud of them. She's a bad role model. Those are all of the complaints that my friend has with her. And here are the ones that he disagrees with. She's ugly. Um, she's mean to her brothers. And she's voiced by a Disney Channel pop star, Ashley Tisdale. Okay, I can kind of understand some of these. I'm not saying that they're all completely... I'm not going to say that they're all completely invalid, but they're obviously not enough to get me to... to, to dislike her. Starting with the whole, she's a complete killjoy. Um... She is a she is an angry person. There's no denying that. Um, I wouldn't say she's a complete killjoy, and I'll get more. I'll explain more about this in in uh, l l later complaints because a lot of them kind of go together. I wouldn't say that she's a complete killjoy, especially in later episodes. You see her trying to. Tr trying to have fun with uh, with her friends and family. A and, and that sort of thing. 
Yeah, she is a angry, grumpy character, but so are so are other character so are other Disney characters that I like, like uh, Grumpy from Snow White, <laughs> for lack of a better example. Um, so I I, I wouldn't call her a complete killjoy. I mean, there there have been uh. There, there, there have been s several, uh, s several times, especially in later episodes, where she's shown, uh, where, where, where she's shown enjoying herself. She's annoying. Annoying is very much in the eye of the beholder. I'm not going to deny that she has some annoying moments, and I can definitely see why some people find her to be pretty annoying. Since she does have a pretty harsh personality. Um, I mean, she, yeah, she, she's come across a, 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 as, as annoying to me on occasion, but... Uh, not 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 enough to get me to dislike her. But if, if you find her to be too annoying, um, that that that's that, that that that's entirely your opinion, and I'm not gonna try try to force you to to like her. Um, she's a stereotype of a shallow teenage girl. Okay. This I definitely disagree with. I think that originally they had... didn't know quite what to do with her and had sort of planned to have her be that way. And I can see where she looks that way somewhat on the surface since she does do a lot of things that a stereotypical shallow teenage girl would do, but she's definitely far from that. She's a much more complex and a character and has a lot more depth than people a lot of people give her credit for. Um Especially in later episodes, she's shown it shows that a lot of her anger and uh, uh, snobbishness and that sort of thing come from the fact that um, come from the fact that she's been called crazy by her mother, called a liar by her mother, for constantly trying to, to bust her brothers, and that she's... that it's kind of gotten to the point where she even questions her, questions her own sanity, and um, wonders if she's crazy and is just seeing the things that they build and the and the things and the things that they build don't really exist in that sort of thing um and not to mention the fact that uh, uh that Jeremy's little sister Susie has made her look like a complete idiot in front of in, in front of Jeremy, uh, several times. And she, and that she has no way of proving that, uh, she, that, so that Susie did, did this to her. So, while, while she does behave in a way, while she does do a lot of things that, a stereotypical shallow teenage girl might do. There's definitely a reason behind it. And she has a lot more depth and complexity than a stereotypical teenage girl does. 
So while I can see why some people might think she looks that way on the surface, I definitely disagree with that complaint. Um, she's superficial and even said, um, if her best friend got glasses, she couldn't be seen with her. Um, I always kind of got the impression that she was joking about that. That's just my opinion. But even if she wasn't joking about it, um, that was in a very, very, very early episode before they really knew what direction they were going to take with her. And I doubt that in... that, that in the... uh... That, 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 that in any of the uh, current episodes, any of the later episodes, they would have her saying anything that, that, that rude, um, if it wasn't a joke. That's just kind of my opinion. I kind of chalk that up to either joking or lack of character development. Um, she's overly paranoid about any little thing having to do with her relationship with Jeremy, her accent, having a nickname, waiting for a call, what he likes about her, etc. Yes, she is. I'm not going to deny that. She is. Um, li like I mentioned before, um, I, I think that she feels kind of rejected by, by a lot of people, including her mother, since she's been called crazy and a liar by her mother, and... Um, also the fact that Susie has made her look like a complete idiot in front of, in front of Jeremy. Um, so I think that she, I, I think that she, that she feels rejected by her mother and other people, and Jeremy is one of the few stable relationships that she's had. So she definitely wants to keep him. And not to mention the fact that Susie's made her look like an idiot in front of him, so that, that, that adds to her fear that she might lose one of the few stable relationships that she, that, that she has. And, um... So to to me it's it's pretty understandable why why she would be kind of paranoid about uh, about their relationship since uh with all of the stuff that she's gone through um She prefers to do things the hard, stupid, and complicated way when it comes to trying to find out um, what she thinks Jeremy is doing that makes her paranoid. Yeah, she, do she does. I think that that's an attempt... Um, I, I, I think that that's an, an attempt uh, with, with the writers to show just how paranoid and frightened she is. Um, and, and just how crazy she is, along with adding some humor to the, to the show. Um, I mean, I, 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 I've personally always found it kind of funny. Um, but, but I, I, I can see why some people might find it annoying. Um, to, to me, it's funny, and to me, it adds 
Uh, so, so, some depth to her character and, uh, and, and does a good job of showing, uh, does a, does a good job of, of showing what a, uh, flawed character she is. Um, she's... She's an ungrateful, spoiled brat uh, that doesn't appreciate what she has. Um, to a certain extent, to, to a certain extent, I agree with this complaint. I definitely wouldn't call her <laughs> to the level of the Jessie's kids ungrateful that uh, were they where all, all they care about is uh. You know, they're, they're, they're themselves and their money, and, uh, when they spend their $2,000 allowances on, uh, on something, they throw a wall-eyed fit because they can't get something else. I definitely wouldn't call her to that level of an ungrateful, spoiled brat. Um... Uh... Also, I don't think that she's so much ungrateful as she is angry at her mother for not believing her and angry at her brothers for continuing to build dangerous in inventions that put them in, at, in danger and uh, that she feels like makes her look like an idiot. So she, um, takes her anger out, out on them, if that makes any sense. But yeah, she, she's been shown to be, she, she's also been shown to be grateful to her family, like, um, in the episode, uh, with, uh, about her mother's birthday, she, uh, she she made up a song uh, to tell uh, to tell her mother how grateful she was for her, and uh, and um, in an episode where she dreams that she busts her brothers, she realizes um, actually during the dream how much she misses how much she would miss them. Um, if, if they were, uh, sent away to military school and, um, and realizes how grateful she is to them. So, she's not completely ungrateful. But yeah, I can kind of agree with this complaint. Um... She takes advantage of her friends and puts her needs above theirs. Um, maybe to a certain extent, um, especially in early episodes where, um, where, where they weren't sure what they were going to do with her and they, uh, and, uh, they were toying with the idea of making her a stereotype. Um, but no, not, not, not all the time. Um, also, I, 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 I think that the main reason that she does... And I, and I think the main reason that she does still do that sometimes is because... She feels rejected, and she feels the need for attention. I, I, I think the main reason that they still will show her do doing that today is, be is because she feels rejected, and she feels the need for attention. But she doesn't do it nearly as much as she used to in the, uh, in the early episodes. I mean, they... they 
Uh, they, they've shown her in episodes going shopping with Stacy when she'd rather stay home and bust her brothers or... Um... Uh, um... Go going to the fair with Stacy. Um... E uh, e even though she she even though she she'd rather uh, uh st stay at home and work on her Jeremy scrapbook and that sort of thing. Uh. It seem it seems more like. She's trying to bust her brothers just to be mean rather than out of concern for their safety, but I do think she cares about them. Um, in early episodes, um, I think that she was shown to have a much more antagonistic personality uh, since they weren't quite sure what they were going to do with her. Um... In late in later episodes, um, in later episodes, while I do think that a big part of her trying to bust her brothers is for their safety, I also think that another big part of it is to prove to her mother, to herself, and to herself and to the world that she's not cuckoo, and to her mother that she's not a liar. Um. So yes, there is some. I do think there is some selfishness behind uh, try, trying to bust your brothers. I don't think that it's entirely for their safety. But um, if you had been called crazy and a liar by your mother, and were to the point where you were questioning your own sanity, you would want to prove uh, to to everyone that you weren't a crazy liar. Wouldn't you? Um, she's she's selfish and egocentric. She's more selfish and egocentric more than the, more than a normal person. Um, yeah, she probably is. I'm not gonna argue that she probably is. Um, um, to a certain extent, I do think it's understandable, since, um, w with all of the stuff that she's been through, but, um, she, 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 she's a very flawed character. But we're, we're all humans, and we all have our flaws, and I think that for all of us, we all have some kind of major flaw that makes, that where we're all more something that, than the average person. I mean, it could be egocentricism, it could be, uh... Greed, it could be uh, lying, it could be whatever. But I, I, I think that we all have s some sort of flaw that that is that is li likely bigger in us than it is in the average person. And yeah, Candace is Candace is qu quite a flawed character. I'm not going to den to deny that. Um, she has no life outside of trying to bust her brothers and never lets herself enjoy things. Um, while that is the majority of her life, I'm not going to deny that it is. Um. There have been several episodes, especially later ones, where she's shown that she, she shows herself, she, she's shown trying, 
trying to have a life outside of busting her brothers. Um, th this kind of go goes in with the next complaint, so I'll, I'll explain a, a little bit of it in, in the next one also, but... Um, there, there, there have been several later episodes where she's shown as trying to have a life outside of busting her brothers, but she realizes that old habits die hard. Um, there, there have been, there have been some episodes, like I mentioned before, she goes, she, she, uh, goes shopping with Stacy, goes to a fair with Stacy, goes on a date, goes on dates with Jeremy, um, um, there, there, um, there, in the New Year's episode, she even made a New Year's resolution not to bust her brothers. <laughs> but, she, she realizes in a lot of them that old habits die hard. There, there have been uh, some of them where she's succeeded in going the whole day without busting her brothers, but... Um, you wouldn't expect her to just be able to quit doing something like that immediately. Um, especially when she's tr trying, especially when she wants to prove that, to, to her mother and to herself, that she's not crazy and not a liar. Um, she never develops, and when she does, it's not done well. Um, like I said, this kind of goes with the last complaint, um... I wouldn't go so far as to say she never develops. She's developed very slowly over the season. L like I said, she's gotten to the point where she's trying to stop but bust but busting her brothers and uh real and realizing that old habits die hard. And she has matured somewhat, and uh, isn't as egocentric as she once was. But um, her lack of development, I blame more on the lazy writing of the series than I do Candace herself. Um... The majority of the episodes, not all of them, but the majority of them, are very much the same plot. Um, they're... Uh, a, a lot of them are... Uh, 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 m m most of them are Phineas and Ferb make something, Candace tries to bust them, uh... Uh, Doofenshmirtz and Perry fight, and Doofenshmirtz's invention destroys Phineas and Ferb's invention, and Candace tries to show her mother and the invention is gone. That's pretty much it. Um, and to the writers of Phineas and Ferb, if you're watching this, as much as I love your show, please come up with some new plots. Please. Um, it, anyway, yeah, they, they do have some different plots, um, a, 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 a few different plots than they used to, but, um, not many. So, there's not a lot of room for character development. Like I said, she's developed some, uh, s slowly, and... Uh, uh, and not a lot, so not the best character development, but I wouldn't say none. Um, she's rude and looks down upon people like a snob. 
not everybody. Um, like, uh, the, the, um, all the adults in the series, she's always addressed them as, a uh, Mr. and Mrs. and Doctor, um, and has always been very polite to them. Um, the, yeah, she does look down on, um, a lot of the kids in the series. Um, not, not all the kids, but a lot of them. Um... I, I think that a lot of that is, uh, the fact that she feels very, um, inefficient and doesn't have a lot of self-confidence, um, because, um, like I've, like I've mentioned several times, um, she questions her own sanity, she's been called crazy by her mother, called a liar by her mother, um, and, uh, has been made to look like an idiot in front of her boyfriend by her boyfriend's little sister, and has been uh, unable to prove it. Uh, so I'm not saying that uh, acting like a snob to people because you don't have much self-confidence is, uh, is good, but um, I, I think that that's why she does it. She ignores her responsibilities. Mm. Uh, when? I don't uh, recall many times of her ignoring her responsibilities. Um, not any more than the average teenager, anyway. Um... I mean, to, to, um, she, she's been shown to be pretty responsible on some occasions, like, uh, uh, in the episode where her parents are supposed to be going out of town for the weekend, um, and she asked her, her mother if she could have some friends over, and her mother said yes, but no parties. She, invi she invites uh, Stacy and Jeremy and um, uh, two other friends over, and um, but <laughs> before she knew it, um, the, uh, the, they, they had all ca called people in and, and invited them over for a huge party, and uh, Candace did her best to get everyone... Uh, to, to, to get everyone out, out, out of the house. She, 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 tr she tried her, her best to, to stop the party and get everyone out of the house, but she still ended up getting in trouble even though she had nothing to do with, with the party and tried to stop it. I mean, to, to me that's pretty responsible for a teenager. Um, and, uh, I'm, 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 not, I'm not saying that she's never been irresponsible, but so are most teenagers. Um, and no offense to my friend, but um, if Candace is irresponsible, then, uh, <laughs> then so is Ariel, since uh, uh, she forgot about the concert and... Uh, uh, ended up uh, going off treasure hunting. Um, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I like Ariel just fine, and I don't think that she's a particularly irresponsible teenager. No, no more than the average one. I'm just saying that uh, that if uh, Candace is irresponsible, then uh, in that sense, Ariel is too. Um, she's mean to Perry. Um, arguably she is a little mean to him. But you've got to admit, uh, Platypus is a pretty weird animal, so it's a pretty weird animal to have for a pet. So, uh, it's understandable why she's kind of grossed out <laughs> at him. 
and the only times that I've seen her be what could arguably considered mean to him. Um, she, like, f found him in the kitchen cabinet, and, uh, uh, he tripped her in the middle of the night and made her spill milk all over herself and that sort of thing. Um, so, um, it's pretty understandable why she got miffed at him those times. Um, and, uh, the, the time that, uh, she, that he tripped her in the middle of the night and she put him outside, um, she was afraid the next day that she lost him and spent the entire day looking for him and, uh, felt, felt really bad for him and her brothers because... She didn't, she didn't want their pit to be out on the street because of her, and she didn't want to, and she felt really bad for her little brothers because she was afraid that she had lost the pet that they loved. So, uh, mm, yeah, um, I don't quite agree with that, <laughs> with that about her being mean to him. Um, she has huge and kind of detestable flaws, um, that she never sees as a problem and is even proud of them. Even an anti-hero will acknowledge them, um, and kind of want to change. The only time I've ever heard... The, the only time that I've ever heard her say anything about being proud of her flaws was in uh what was in that episode right after she told her friend that uh she wouldn't be seen with her if she got glasses um her friend Stacy um and again that was in a very 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 early episode in the first season and I always got the impression that she was joking about that. Um, and even if she wasn't, I have not heard her say anything that shallow in a long time. I mean, the first season, it started in 07, so it was eight years ago. I mean, that, that was a long time ago. I'm not saying that... I'm not saying that she hasn't said some rude, shallow things to people in, in later episodes, but... They've... Definitely softened her character. And... They've definitely softened her character a lot since then. And, uh... I would be surprised to hear her say anything that shallow. If, it, if, it, if, if she wasn't joking in a... In an episode today. So I kind of chalk that up to either joking or lack of character development. Um, she's, she's a bad role model. Yes, she is. She's a really bad role model, a terrible role model. I'm not going to deny that. <laughs> But I don't think she was intended to be a role model. <coughs> I think that she's an anti-hero or heroine. Um, more the type of character that you don't want to be like. Um...
And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, excuse me, lost my train of thought. <laughs> I, I, I think that she's more of an anti-hero. I think I think that she has a lot more depth than people give her credit for and um I know that they're very different characters but I've always thought of her as being sort of similar to Catwoman in some ways I mean if you look at Catwoman she's You can tell that she's very much an, an anti-hero. She very much wants to... Uh, wants to right wrong, fight for justice, and that sort of thing, but she, but she goes about it the wrong way, and does, does it by breaking the law herself and threatening to kill people. And all that sort of, all those kind of things. And if you look at Candace, she very much wants to help, help her brothers and prove that she isn't crazy. But she goes about it the wrong way by, uh, by, by doing everything the complicated way to the point of isolating her friend, to, to the point of isolating herself from her friends and family and that sort of thing. So, to, to me, in, in that way, she's very much an, an anti-hero in the sense that someone like Catwoman is. Not, not, not a good role model by any means, but a... A character that do that does have somewhat of a moral compass and is and is heroic in their own way, even if they're going about it the wrong way. Um. And moving on to the complaint that my friend doesn't seem to agree with. She's ugly. So frickin' what? Um. Okay. While her animation style is odd, I will admit that. It's, and I can see why some people wouldn't care much for it. Um. Uh, disliking a character purely because you think they're ugly is really shallow. I mean, that's up there with disliking Jack Frost because, um, because he's too handsome and too sexy. What are you gonna do next? Dislike Quasimodo because he's ugly? Um... Sorry, but that's, uh, no, no offense to whoever said this, but that's a pretty dumb reason. She's mean to her brothers. Mm. Uh, mean is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, yeah, yeah, she, like all the characters in the show, she's, like with all the characters in the show, she's been rude to her brothers before. But I think that I think that her reason behind it is uh, because she's angry at them for continuing to build uh, dangerous inventions that put them in danger and that make her look like a crazy liar. I mean, she's never you know, physically abused them or anything like that. 
She, she's, she doesn't behave like Cinderella's stepsisters did to her in that sense of a mean sibling or anything like that. So, I can kind of see where people are coming from with that, but, um, I pretty much disagree with it. Uh, mean is in the eye of the beholder, and, uh, uh, and if you think she's mean to them, that's your opinion. She's voiced by a Disney Channel pop star, Ashley Tisdale. Um, why do you care who the frick her voice actor or actress is? Um... I, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't care one way or another about Ashley Tisdale. I'm not a fan of her, and, and I don't hate her. She, I'm pretty much neutral about her. Um, but even if you despise her, um, what, what does that have to do with Candace's character? It's not like you even have to look at Ashley Tisdale while, <laughs> while, while you're watching Candace. I mean, there, there are cartoon characters that I like that are voiced by people that I dislike. Like, uh, the character Megamind. Um, Will Ferrell's one of my least favorite actors, and, uh, I still like the character Megamind, even though, even though Will Ferrell voices him. So, um, I, I, I'm not gonna fault you for disliking Ashley Tisdale. Um, but come up with a better reason than I dislike the character's voice actor or actress to dislike a character. Because that's a pretty weak reason. <coughs> I mean, yeah, I guess you could add that on a list of reasons why you disliked a character, but just that in and of itself. Uh. That's... Uh, that, that, that in and of itself is pretty weak. Um, and that's about all the complaints. That's about all I have to say about the complaints. Anyway, um, personally, I've always lo loved Candace. She's in my top five animated heroines. Um, I think that she's got a lot of, a lot more depth and complexity than a lot of people give her credit for. Um, I can understand why some people dislike her, um, because she's got a pretty gruff, abrasive personality, and I will admit that she does look like a stereotypical teenage character on the surface, even though I don't think that she is. Um, but that, that's just my personal opinion. Um, like I said, hopefully third time is a charm, and I can actually get this dang video up. <laughs> um, anyway, the... The link to my friend's Rapunzel video will be in the comments section below. I highly encourage you to watch it. Um, uh, he'll hopefully have his... Candace video up soon, and I'll have my Rapunzel video up after that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, and see you next time.